Right, uh, we are here with our vet, Ida, who's our resident vet at our centre. She is here looking after our latest patient, which is Akabia, one of the UK um, langers. Um, so what's happening with Akabia at the moment? Uh, she's uh, we taking care because she's like very skinny and look very dehydrated. So now we put her on IV drip and some medication as well. Um, and she will be on the drip for a long time? Mm, minimum maybe a week and then we evaluate if she's getting better we try to move her back. And um, with your general vet work do you think that you could do with a new um, medication room here so somewhere to keep the animals so that they would be in a better situation? Yeah I hope so. Because we, ho we hope that this is something that the Aspen Foundation could help fundraise for yeah. and then we could have a new room in here so yeah. that we could stop keeping Akabir in a smaller cage. Yeah. Um, and how do you find um, the other animals in the centre? Is there many things that you do such as um, uh, parasite checks and things? Yeah, uh, for parasite check we do like routine. For quarantine an animal we do every two weeks. And for the, like, the on process uh, socialization every three months. And then you do all the checks for putting the animals back into the wild? Uh, for if you're putting the animals back into the wild, do yeah. you go out and do the health checks? Mm, no. We, uh, uh, for like the releasing animal, yeah. the team monitoring just do... No, I mean as in, do you do the TB testing and stuff? Oh yeah, before. Yeah. The pre-release, yeah. We and do the pre-release medical checkup. And what usually happens in a pre-release? What medical checkup do you do? Uh, Almost the same like the, the routine, like the quarantine animal, but uh, we should make sure that the implant, the chip, uh, still in, and also the parasite and the blood test, the TB, and we took some sample, the blood and also the hair sample. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank you very much.